Hey, it's real good to see you. Welcome to this episode of Barlow Barbecue. I'm Matthew, and today what I'd like to do for you is cook up some beef short ribs. I've got my Weber Jumbo Joe fired up, so we're gonna smoke those short ribs until they're probe tender. So I hope you stick around. Let's go over to the grill, and then we'll get those seasoned up, and we can start smoking. I tell you what, it is always such a nice feeling rolling smoke on a beautiful day. And I'm just waiting for this Jumbo Joe to come up to temp. Right now it's around 190. I'm waiting for about 250 to 275 before we put the beef short ribs on. And speaking of ribs, here are the short ribs. Check out these little meat cubes right here, these little cubes of goodness. And I'm going to keep my seasoning real, real simple for these today. I'm just going to use a little blend of kosher salt and black pepper, probably about 50-50 each one. All right, so let me go ahead and get these seasoned up. And then when this grill has come up to temp, like I said, around 250, we'll go ahead and get these on and we'll start cooking. See you in just a minute. All right, we got the grill temp at 248. Let's go ahead and get those beef ribs on. All right, we're just gonna let that smoke. We'll give it another hour, maybe two hours before I come out and check the tenderness on those short ribs. And I'm gonna give them until they are probe tender, which is usually around 190, 200 degrees, somewhere in that little window. Not sure if I'm gonna wrap these later on or not. We're just gonna have to see how the day goes. All right, so cheers. We got the meat on, we're smoking. It's a beautiful day, and I'm real glad you're here with me. So I'll tell you what, let's come back here and check on these ribs in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Ooh, it's getting a little chilly out here, folks. Tell you what, it is windy down here, so I apologize for the audio. But listen, it's been one hour since we've uh, been smoking these short ribs. And so what I want to do now is check them out. I've got a little thermometer with me so we can check out their temperature and see where they're at. Let's take a look. Now I do want to be completely honest with you guys. Take a look at this grill temp. 350 degrees. That's about 100 degrees over what I was shooting for which was around 250 to 275 but that's all good these short ribs can handle it let's take a look oh yeah those are looking real real nice mm, look at those beautiful little cubes of goodness right there let's take a temp a little reading all right just off camera that's reading 159 try this one up front that's 171 and back here 171. Let's see what this one is. Here you go. 166. So these have a little ways to go yet. Let's cover it up and let's give it another hour. Alright, listen, I know I said I wanted to wait another hour, but it's actually been 30 minutes and this grill has been running hot, so I don't want to dry out these ribs. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I've got my thermometer with me. Let's take another look. Oh boy, these are looking real nice, y'all. Now let's check out these ribs, see how they feel. Well, that one's nice and tender. That one is feeling perfect. We got a reading of 193. This one back here, well, that one feels the same. 190. 180 on that one, not quite there. And this one. All right, so the two in the front are done. Tell you what, we're gonna do a little switcheroo. I'm just gonna move these from the front to the back. Move the back to the front. Just like that. There, there, and there. Well, it turns out I'll probably use up that last 30 minutes anyways. I'll give those ones that I just moved to the front I'll give those about a half hour, and I think that should do it. And the ones in the back can chill out just a little bit. They won't be quite as exposed to the uh, to the coals. And they should be safe from drying out. So hang tight, we're almost done with this cook. I've been cooking for a total of two hours now, and it's been 30 minutes since we checked on these ribs last. Tell you what, we're losing light, and we're losing the grill temp too. It's fallen down to around 275. 
but we haven't lost that wind. It's still whipping through here. It's still getting a little chilly out. So let's check out these ribs. I hope that they're done. Well, those are the ones we moved. We know that these are good. These are the ones we need to check. Okay, that's feeling a lot better. 205, yeah. Woo! 201, all right. These are done. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get these off. Well, well, well. So glad you could join us for uh, just at the right time at the end of this video for the taste test. If someone says barbecue, I'm there to taste it. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. All right. Well, uh, we took a little bit of meat off the bone here and I'm telling you what, these look fantastic. It smells mm. great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try a bite right now. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You do these on the Jumbo Joe? I sure did. I love the Jumbo Joe. I do too. It's a perfect size for two people. Yep. And it's just like using the Weber, only a little smaller. Just like the little mini version, and uh, you don't have to use as much charcoal as you would for the kettle, so it's it's great. And speaking of great, these ribs are, are great. great. These are real good. The tenderness was perfect. I'm going to try uh, again. Yeah, there we go. We still have a, a couple little bites there. Mm. And the seasoning, that salt and pepper was perfect. You didn't mm -hmm. need anything else. That was it. Nope. And the bark that was and the really smoke. nice. Yep. And the Jumbo Joe, Yep. Boom. you made a recipe for perfection. Boom. Well, I uh, have the recipe, the you know, all that good stuff right down below in the description box for you to check out. And we do thank you for hanging out with us today. We love you. And we'll, we're going to say until next time. <laughs> Sound it out. Smoke them if you got them. That's right. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.